get him to the Greek. Um, overall, a funny movie. Before I start going on about like my my kind of what flaws I see in the movie, I just want to put out there: it's a very funny movie. I didn't like. I, I liked it. Um, but man, getting getting Eldest Snow to the Greek is this movie's like the last thing it wants to do. Because before we go to the Greek, we got to go and um, learn about Eldis's dad and Eldis's relationship and, uh, and Jonah Hill's relationship with his girlfriend. How Eldis Snow, Snow um, wants to be the, uh, want to, wants to intervene and, and help the relationship. Like, come on, just get him. I don't care about any of that. Just get him to the Greek. That's, it's in the title. You can't, you can't detour off of that i don't mind if there's like a couple detours but like come on it was like oh definitely it was an hour because the movie's like two hours right okay two hours about an hour of it were was plot detours and it just it gets annoying after a while because you just you want some you want the story to progress you don't want the thing to go off the rails it's funny uh Sean Puffy Combs, I guess he's going by now. It's really, really funny and steals the scene. I won't say anything more because I want But that was my major, like, with the movie. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I laughed. I laughed still. It was just it was a solid comedy. Uh, one thing about it is it's a really immature comedy. Not as immature as another movie we're going to talk about later. But it's still, like, an immature comedy. So if you're not into, like, really gross kind of comedy, don't go see it. Um, it's really, really hilarious. I couldn't stop laughing. The soundtrack is awesome. <laughs> I love it. But, um, oh, the soundtrack is by Infansora. That's what the movie's about. But, um, I don't know. I think I have the same issues as you did. It gets off track, but it's still pretty funny. And it lost me at some spots. It gets just kind of dull when it starts going on that track, but... They do find their way back eventually. Mm -hmm. I liked it a lot. Ooh, glad you brought up the soundtrack too, because yeah, it's really good. It's as if like I know with Forgetting Sarah Marshall, they're really kind of. It seemed like they were upset that they didn't get nominated for an Oscar for any of the Dracula musical stuff. So it was here. It was like, okay, if this doesn't get nominated for an Oscar, then we're gonna eat our hats. So here's a bunch of funny songs, original songs. No, it's really funny. Yeah, really good cameos in it too. Yeah, I won't, won't spoil funny. it. Yeah, but. Um, the first five minutes are brilliant. It's just too bad that the movie doesn't really live up to that brilliance that it sets. If you want to watch the first five minutes, you can go on to Funny or Die, and they have it up there. Mm -hmm. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Brilliant. It's it's amazing. It really is. It's it's so it it's two and a half hours long. I'm gonna get all the stuff that might kind of veer people out of the way or fear people away from the movie. I want to get that all out of the way. Uh, so the movie's two and a half hours. It's subtitled. Um, it really deals with some really raw, rough material. Don't let that push you away from the movie because you, you won't know this movie is two and a half hours because you'll be so pulled into the story and the way it um, tells its story. I, I've never read the book, but this movie does so much wonderful storytelling and just the filmmaking here is stellar there's some great acting um yeah i, I won't take everything like I'll, <laughs> I'll let you talk about it but yeah uh, just that that it's perfect i did not find a single flaw with this movie um it's two and a half hours long but it doesn't feel like it's two and a half hours long um it is all in swedish there's like two words that are English, so that makes it a little difficult. But if you don't mind reading <laughs> and dealing with the difficult issues, it's fine. Uh, I walked out of there with a huge smile on my face because it was epic. It's an epic movie. Um, unfortunately, they're making an American version of the movie, and I'm not happy about that at all. So, like, casting George Clooney and forget the other girl's name. Yeah, um, I think right now it's at, because I've been reading up on this too, because it makes me mad too. This shouldn't be remade. Um, it's uh, the person being talked, or the lead detective is uh, Daniel Craig. 
Uh, and George Clooney in there too. Yeah, George Clooney was being talked about, and then Car- Carrie Mulligan. Carrie Mulligan, yeah. Yeah, or Kate. I always is it Carrie or Casey? It's Carrie. Uh, from an education. Which Tony you love. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, really, you're not too hot on the being. I'm not too hot on them being re-released like that so soon, but um, I, I'm really eager to go out and read the books because I haven't read the books and. The movie was just so amazing that I think maybe the books deserve to be read now. Mm-hmm. But uh, not sure if it's true to the books or not, but it's still really, really, really good. And everyone in the theater seemed pretty happy. So. Mm-hmm. IMAX Hubble. Uh, we saw this at the Science Center in the great giant Omnimax. Um, I thought it was really, really good. It kind of gets uh, muddled with how many... It's 45 minutes long. And it wants to kind of cram in all it can in that 45 minutes, so it kind of gets, yeah, muddled. Um, I have, I'm not too hot on Leonardo DiCaprio's narration. Sometimes it works well, sometimes it's very uh, stilted and, like, over-articulated. Um, and then, uh, but the, the really the greatest part of this documentary for me was when it showed you the images the Hubble took. And actually took you through a tour. I think it goes through the uh, Orion Nebula. I think that's the name. And it actually gives you like a yeah a full tour um, through like the stars and the mini galaxies. Um, and it's great to see on a large IMAX screen. So yeah, I I, I recommend it, even though it has some flaws. But uh, forty five minutes, and uh, yeah, goes by fast. Um, I I was okay with it. I didn't like the Omnimax. I, it's not for me at all because what happens is you're sitting back in a seat like this and the screen goes all the way behind you and all the walls around you and it's just so much to try and take in and you're like bending your head back it's just uncomfortable and like they're showing like astronauts and stuff and this astronaut is a gigantic and like, like kind of distorted image I don't know, I didn't really like the Omnimax. I liked the parts where it showed the Hubble images, and I wish that it, the whole movie had been that, because they veer off into this, like, half the, over half the movie is them talking about having to fix the Hubble and getting it up into space and how it works and gets the pictures, but they spend very, very little time actually showing everything else. And when they do show everything else, they're just showing you stars. They're not showing you, like, the other planets and stuff. And I would have really, really liked that. Yeah, that's good points, yeah. It was okay for me. It wasn't great. Well, I'm glad you brought up the, uh, the you yeah, know, when they're fixing it. And it's kind of a distorted image because the screen is so big. This is where uh, it's like a pro. The IMAX presentation is like a uh, pro and a con. It looks great. Until you get to scenes where, yeah, there's astronauts fixing stuff. And then it takes, I, for me, it took like a couple seconds for me to kind of realize what's going on, where people were, and what exactly they were doing. Did you find that? Yeah? I found like, like I'm sitting there, and I'm looking at the screen, and all I'm seeing is ass and boots. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not seeing the action here. You have to tilt your head all the way back until you reach the ceiling, and then you see the guy's hands fixing whatever. And I'm like, this is dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see ass and boots. I want to see what the guy's fixing. But you have to bend your head all the way back in order to see that. I think you got a song. Ass, booties, ass and booties. Ass, 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 ass booties, 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 ass and booties. 